Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is our little clock that we are going to decorate today. It's um, what's my Nana's clock. It doesn't actually work. I just moved the hour hand over to see if it would make a noise, and it did. But I haven't got any keys for it to wind it up, so it doesn't work anymore. Um, it's got a little bit of damage on it. The some of the the near is starting to peel away so I'll just glue that back together and then give it a little clean and then I'll give it an undercoat and I plan on doing some decoupage today so come join me all right let's glue this down Just pop some masking tape over top of that, weigh it down a little bit, we'll put something on there and I'll leave that to dry and then come back and paint it. While I'm waiting for that to dry, I'll just go ahead and give it a little bit of a clean. It's not, it's not dirty, but just get enough any dust and... Here's the back of it. Let's see what's in here. No markers, no uh, manufacturer's mark or anything on there, so I don't actually know how old it is. I do know that my grandmother had two of these. My mum and dad got the other one, and my mother painted that up really nice. I'll see if I can get a photo of it and put it on the video for you. She's quite clever, mamas, with the old paintbrushes. But not me, I'm doing it the cheats way. So I'm just masking around the clock face so I don't get any paint on there Let's poke the tape right in right right she's all ready for painting i'll remove that when the glue is dry so while we're waiting for the glue to dry on this piece i'm just move that aside and we'll have a look at our decoupage papers. So today I'm just going to be using serviettes and I'm yet to decide which I'm going to use. I have a collection. These are quite pretty. This here I, I quite like. I've done a piece, a, a, what was it, a basket I did with this. It looked quite nice. This one I'll give a miss. Maybe that one. Poppies, they look nice. Whoops, stuck. This here may suit the cloth I'm thinking. It's quite nice. And then there's this one. This is I've actually done a few things with this. I quite like those flowers. Here's a couple of examples of things that I've already done. This was just a cheap $3 glass vessel that I covered. And then when I was first starting out, I grabbed some seashells off the beach and covered those. And then I just put a high gloss varnish over top. Shells are really good fun to do. Um, I think I'll do quite a few and just have a little collection of them in a bowl on the coffee table or something. I didn't do the underside, just did that side. You can do the underside. Um, if you can get yourself a really big shell and do both sides of it, you could use that as maybe putting your jewellery in, your rings or something on your dressing table. That looks quite nice. 
And also I did this, this little um, sign here, this home sign. So these sort of things you can get from the Emporium type shops, they're not expensive. I think they may have been between five and eight dollars. So you can do a lot with decoupage. When I first, the first thing I ever did, I think, was a bowl actually, and I didn't have anything at home to use, so I just went through my cupboard and found a bowl that I never ever used, an old wooden bowl, and I covered that as the practice, and then moved on to these. So I also have these little packets here. They're really cheap. Um, I think they're only about three dollars for a little pack of hankies, tissue hankies. Um, this one here is quite nice, but. Because it has all these lines and it's going to be really hard to match up and you'll see the mismatch um, after I've put it on there because normally you just sort of cut around an area and pop that on and then a bit more and a bit more and sort of join it up but because of all these lines I don't think that's going to look that great so I'll give that one a miss and this is the other one this is probably a better one to do because I can tear around any bits that I that I want and just place them as I as I I think they'll look good on there. So I might go ahead and use this one here actually. It's got some nice little birds, butterflies, got some writing, it's got a bit of everything on there. I think that'll look great. So yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll use this one here. Hopefully I have enough in here. I should I should do. There's quite a few in there. We'll go ahead and we'll use this one here. Okay, in typical Trish fashion, I've changed my mind. Surprise, surprise. This is what I'm going to use. This one here, and the reason I'm going to use this is because it's really easy to just rip around the pieces that you want. I can put the birds where I want them, I can put this big area here over the top of the clock. Um, yeah, this is going to be a lot easier and I think it's going to be look quite smart on a clock. I think it will suit it, it will suit it far better than that one. So I'm going to coat the clock in this gesso, it's an undercoat primer type thing that will seal in the wood and I can decoupage straight over top of that. So white because my tissue is white in the background anyway. So I'll just go ahead and pop a little bit of that in the little container and I'm just going to be using a little foam brush. Okay, after one coat of gesso, I've realised that uh, the stain is coming through, um, so I really should have used a stain blocking primer. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give a second coat and I'm going to use that instead. You can see there, it's coming through and it does look quite yellow. I don't think a second coat of gesso is going to do it, so yeah. Put a stain blocking primer on it in the first place. Rookie mistake, Trish. Okay, this is the stage we're at now. I've given this three coats of primer, so British Paint 4 and 1. It's still bleeding through. It's quite yellow. I don't know if you can see. Pick that up, but it's quite dirty yellow looking. So I went ahead and decoupaged the back to see if that would come through. And it has come through. It's quite quite yellow in places and looks dirty. So I'm going to take that outside and I'm going to spray it with bin primer. So this one's got a, a really good stain blocker. It's got shellac in it, so it's shellac based. So I'll give that a couple of coats of that. Right, it's had two coats of the shellac based primer, it's looking really good now, no bleed through, so we can start decoupaging, let's just move that out of the way. Right, so here is our tissue paper, now these are three ply, so you, what you have to actually do is remove two ply, 
Um, sometimes it's really hard to start it off, like I've already started this one to show you. But if you have trouble um, putting them apart, you can just dampen your fingers and sort of muck around with it a little bit and eventually one piece will come over, come out and then you can start pulling it away. So we'll go ahead and remove very carefully those two layers. Oh, this one's a bit sticky. Try and get that off without ripping it. Oh, I've ripped a hole in it there, but that's okay. We'll use some of it anyway. Right, get rid of that. Now, the easiest way to cut out the piece that you want is not with scissors. It is with water, believe it or not. So what you do, you just get... A little glass of water and you get a little fine artist brush to dampen it and just run around the edge that you want so I want this middle piece here because I'm going to put it on the top of the clock so just run around the edge that you want like so And then you can just pull it apart. Like so. And we have it. So that's our first piece that we're going to be using. Bring our clock back. Right, so I'm going to place that on the top. And with these ragged edges, that actually makes it a lot easier, believe it or not, because um, you don't see the joins as much. So when I put another piece onto it, you won't see those joins, but if you have a straight line with the scissors, they tend to stand out more, so I prefer this way. So just have a look at where how you want that. Go ahead and use your Mod Podge. This is what I use. Um, I only put a very thin layer on. Sometimes I actually water it down a little bit because it can be quite thick. So just put a very thin layer of that on. Put a little bit over the edge just in case your tissue paper does go over the edge a little bit. Now let's place this on top. Now just place it there lightly. Now don't touch it with your hands. I know it's tempting, but just grab a piece of um, glad wrap. And we're going to use that as a barrier between the tissue paper in your hands and this will stop it sticking so just place it on top press down hard and then just smooth it over try and get out any little wrinkles or bubbles that you see press down firmly voila there we have our first piece. Now you just continue the rest of the clock. You cut out little bits and pieces, add them where you want. So let's go ahead and maybe put a bird down here and one down here. Okay, so just cut out two little birds 
and I'm just now going to place them facing away from each other. They fit in better that way. So I'll probably place one there and the other one there. Alright, let's go ahead. Use a bit of Mod Podge. Very thin, thin it right out. careful once you put it down you can't lift it back up and I've made a mistake there let's see if I can oh it was lucky okay there we go a little bit of saran wrap I've just rolled this one up into a ball and I'm just going to dab it lightly but once you get to the edges be careful because if you get the feet the mod podge on the the Saran wrap it can act like a finger and pull it straight back off again. So just be careful there. So tempted to just put your finger on there, but try not to. Alright, let's do the other piece. Now you'll notice there's a couple of little dents here. That's fine. The tissue paper will just sink straight into those. So let's line this one up. And I'm going to yeah, get a new piece of flat wrap. It's a lot easier if you just have a big flat piece. Pop that straight on and smooth that out. It's looking quite lovely. Let's just smooth this one out as well. Go to the edges. Wow. That's looking lovely. Now don't worry about these little bits on the edge here because later on once it's dry, come along with an emery board and you just scrape down there and that'll get rid of any little bits left over. Right, this piece here, I'm actually going to place down the bottom. I'm going to wrap it around the corner. So. Head wrap. Just push it around the corner. As long as you've got glue around there, it'll stick. There we go. It's looking quite smart. I do say so myself. What do you guys think? You think I picked the right tissue? I think so. So if you see a little piece sticking up on the edge, I don't know if you can see that, you probably can't. Move that closer. So just up here, it's sticking out a little bit, I don't know if you can see that. So just get a little tiny bit of Mod Podge on the end of your brush and just go the way same direction that the paper's going it's just a little tiny bit dampen it down and it'll straighten those edges out make them stick properly so i have this little piece here and i'm actually going to put it right here it's going to go over the little door as well and that's fine i've just put my mod podge on and i just press down into that groove and when that's dry I will just run a Stanley knife or sharp sharp knife 
down there to cut it. I'll wait till that's completely dry before I do that. So you can go over edges, you can go into grooves, just push your paper in there, it's fine. Once it's dry, you can cut it. Alright, so that dried. I just ran a sharp knife across there. I'm going to leave it now for quite a few hours so I know it's really dry. And then we will go ahead and put a top coat. So you can use a Mod Podge for your top coat if you want. But I'm going to use a spray. Which is a... This one here. A Max Spray. And it is for decoupage as well. So we'll wait till that's bone dry. And then we'll give that a very light spray. Wait till it's dry again. And couple of hours and then spray it again and then that'll be it the job is finished so one last thing before we uh, varnish this I mentioned before about the emery board how you can cut your edges if you've gone over see this little bit of tissue here that's hanging over so you just give that a very light rub and it comes straight away nice clean cut there we go So as promised, um, here's a photo of my mum's clock that she did. She hand painted that. She's a very clever lady. Um, so I can't do that fine detail like she can. She's a clever lady, all right. So a quick reminder of what my clock looked like before. So here is the end result. I ended up giving it um, four coats, light coats of spray varnish. It looks really good. What do you guys think? Better than before? I hope so. Uh, I think my Nana would actually like this clock. I think she'd think that was pretty neat. don't think she'd mind at all that I've done this to it. If you like this and would like to see more, please consider subscribing to my channel. It helps my channel grow. I'd really appreciate it. See you on the next one.